So I'm going to do a few more problems that are Venn diagram survey questions. And this is really just intended as review. So these topics have already been taught, but I just wanted to do a few more um, so that you really feel comfortable with Venn diagrams and surveys and how they work together. So let's start with this one where I just have a picture and this shows um, streaming um, shows by the type of service it was. So was the show streams on Hulu or Netflix or Prime Video? So we have all these numbers in here. Um, and I want to know, first question says, um, how many shows are on both Netflix and Hulu? So as you're doing these questions, the first thing I would say is like, well, let's look at this. I want Netflix and Hulu. So Netflix and Hulu says, where do they overlap? So I'm looking on the graph and I can see right here, this is Netflix and Hulu. So it's this part here, the 149 and the 47. These numbers are cardinal numbers. So they're not the names of the shows. They just tell me how many they are. So I have 149 plus 47. Um, let's write that in there. So 149 plus 47, which represents 196. This is not current. This is a picture I had from before and I thought it was a good one to use. So this is not current information about Hulu and Netflix, but it was a good Venn diagram to use. So I was just looking at that intersection because intersection is represented by the word and. Let's stick with this. Um, so I'm still using the same Venn diagram, but this time I said how many shows are on Netflix but not on Prime? So this is Netflix, right? So I'm looking at here's Netflix. But notice I'm avoiding anything that has to do with Prime. So I'm only looking at the stuff that's only on Netflix, not touching Prime. It doesn't mention Hulu, so if it touches Hulu, fine. If it doesn't, that's fine too. But again, you can say I have two areas. I have 149 plus 1,686. So let's add that up, 149 plus 1,686. And that's 1,835. Again, this is numbers, this is cardinality. I don't know the names of the shows, I'm not worried about it. Okay, this one says, how many shows are on both Netflix and Hulu, but are not on Prime? So we're starting with they're on Netflix and Hulu, right? And we looked at that earlier. So Netflix and Hulu was this area, right? Netflix and Hulu, but this time it says not on Prime. So I don't want these that are also on Prime. So this is only 149. I don't include any other areas. Then I said, how many shows are streamed on Hulu? So this time I want to know all of it. So this says I'm taking this whole circle that belongs to Hulu. I'm going to add 149 and 47 and 245 and 1,891. So let's add that up. 149, 47, 245. 1,891, and that gives me a total of 2,332. Right. Then I said, how many shows are not streamed on Prime Video? So this time I said, what's not in Prime? So I don't want this one. 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 I want the rest. So these that are just on Hulu, on Hulu and Netflix, or on Netflix. So 1,891, 149, 1,686. So 1891, 149, and then 1,686. So this gave me 3,726 are not on Prime. So hopefully you're seeing that over and over again to answer the question, I start by saying like what area is it on my Venn diagram? And then I can pull the numbers out and start talking about the numbers. So all of these are cardinality. All right, so let's look at another one. Let me change the color of my pen so it'll show up. So in this one, I told you A has 52 elements, B has 70 elements, A union B has 100, and B complement has 55. So when you're looking at this, again, it's cardinality, I know, because it has the N and stands for number. We usually want to start with the intersection, and I didn't give it to you, but what I did give you is I said A had 52, I said B had 70, so let's go ahead and add that up, that gives me 122. Since A union B is 100, that says they had to share something. So I'm just going to subtract, and that's going to give me 22. So if I'm given the union and I'm trying to get the intersection, I just add them together and say, hey, how much too big was it? That was 22. I'm going to finish my Venn diagram before I try to even look at the questions. Okay. 
Now that I know there are 22 elements in the intersection, I can look at A and say, well, there's supposed to be 52 altogether, so I should always be subtracting. So I do 52 minus 22 is 30. That way that adds up to 52. Same thing over here for B, I want to subtract 22. So I'm going to do 70 minus 22 is 48. So I'll write you that little note here. I did 70 minus 22. That's how I got the 48. I did 52 minus 22. That's how I got the 30. Um, the last thing I know is that B complement is 55. So B complement says what's not in B? Well, it's 30. And then it's what else is out here. So that it's not just what's in the circles. It's also kind of outside the circles too. So I'm looking at the 30 and something is supposed to be 55. So I'm going to do 55 minus 30, which gives me 25. So this goes here. All right. So now that I filled in all four areas of the Venn diagram, I can go back and answer the question. So the first one says, what's the intersection? That's 22. Then it says A minus B. So A minus B says, what's an A? Not in B. So it's only an A. That's 30. A union B complement says what's outside of those circles. So what's outside of the circles? 25. And then the universe is the entire box. So the entire box will be 30 plus 22 plus 48 plus 45. So let's add up 30 plus 22 plus 48 plus 25. That gives me 125. So let's move on, do similar kind of thing, but let's add a word problem. So I said a survey of 185 people found 95 owned an iPhone, 50 owned an iPad, 125 owned an iPhone or an iPad, and then I want to know how many owned both an iPhone and an iPad, how many people owned an iPad but not an iPhone, and then how many people didn't have either of the items. All right, so first step is always read the question, and then we have to start saying, like, what are we going to call things? Um, so I went ahead and put this in here. We'll just call it iPhone and iPad. It's short enough I can write it. But what you should notice is we have 185 people. That's my universe. Okay. Then I have 95 that own an iPhone. So that'll be what's going to go in here eventually. And then I had 50 that had an iPad. But then 125 had an iPhone or an iPad, and that or is important. So what I want to see is the 95 that had the iPhone plus the 50 that had an iPad, that would add up to 145. But what do we know? It's only supposed to be 125. So once again, we are subtracting 145 minus 125. That gives me 20. That's my starting place. That's the intersection. Okay. Now that I have this 20, I can subtract. So it's supposed to be 95 in the iPhone circle. So I do 95 minus 20 is 75. Same thing for the iPhone. Um, same thing for the iPad, sorry. iPad's supposed to be 50, but I already have 20, so I'm going to do 50 minus 20 is 30. Okay, so let's look at what we have right now. We have 75, and we have 20, and we have 30. So if I add those up, the 125, which we said we're supposed to have, I say, well, what's left over? I'm supposed to have 185 people altogether. Right now I have 125. That means there are 60 more people. So I'm just going to transfer this over to the next slide. So this was 75, this was 20, um, this was 30, and this was 60. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have our picture again, we can answer these questions. So we first said, how many had both an iPhone and an iPad? That was 20. How many people owned an iPad but not an iPhone? So iPad, no iPhone, that was 30. And then how many people didn't have either of the items? That's 60. 